Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, you know, there's an awful lot of bass boats that we see around us now because the tournament time is here. And it really is different than it was going back before 2013 when we brought bass to Waddington that first year. That was a phenomena. We set records that had never before been seen in the United States for fan involvement, the crowds that came. It was amazing. And the rest of the country started discovering us up here in the North Country. Well, one of the things that, that I think has become part of this is, and it's an old question, and I've, I've brought it up on the radio before, and the question is, whose water is this anyway? You know, if you have a cottage along the river and you've got a dock that so you can have your boat and enjoy the river, well, those docks become the preferred fishing site for so many people because almost every dock has fish that live under it for protection from the sun, from protection from other other fish, or it's a place for them to hide and attack other fish. So docks become a prime target for fishermen. Well, what happens is you may be enjoying the area and that dock is essentially, you feel that dock is your property and it is, but is the water underneath it your property? And that water is everybody's water. And so I guess the question is, and I, and I know how you must feel, when all of a sudden there's a boat and people essentially are in your backyard. And it's something that I think, uh, I've watched other TV shows where they're doing this. And some of the people really react negatively. They'll start shouting things, get off my property, blah, blah, blah. But there's an essence of truth to that. And I know how you must feel. What I can tell you is a lot of times if there's give and take, hi, how's the fishing today, or something like that. It can become a pleasant situation, and they aren't going to stay there for long. But it really, it really, it changes an awful lot. Because I know a lot of people have told me that have camps along the river, they say, you know, it's not like it used to be. We've got people around us all the time. And I know that's part of having these tournaments here. It's changed the appearance of our landscape, at least temporarily. Because not only in the water do you have all these boats and these boats come close to shore and they, and so it's kind of, we feel it as an intrusion. And you see the same thing along the road. All of a sudden, every other car is a, is a truck with a bass boat. But what it does indicate is that people have discovered what we are up here. They've come from long ways away to enjoy this incredible fishing. And hopefully, you know, we talk about risk reward in anything. And one of the risks are that it changes things a bit. But the reward is hopefully that the economic benefit to all of us will, will make life a little bit better than it could have been before. And I really believe that. That's the reason that I'm involved in this. It isn't that I want to give away my favorite fishing areas or I want to, but, but it's part of bringing an economic well-being to the area, and that's what you're going to see this summer. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.